Hi, it's Lee from the Japanese Water Gardens. In this video, I'm going to explain about ammonia spikes. What causes them, how do you avoid them, and what should you do if one occurs? Ammonia is a toxic compound that is formed in your pond during the breakdown of fish waste products such as urine and feces. A significant quantity is also excreted through the fish's gills, a byproduct of the respiratory system. A small level of ammonia will always be present in the water, but most domestic testing kits are not sensitive enough to detect it. In my opinion, any detection of ammonia should be regarded as a concern. If ammonia becomes concentrated in the water, we refer to this as an ammonia spike. It will severely damage the fish, and if remedial action is not taken swiftly, potentially kill them. During normal operation, bacteria present in the pond's filtration system, known as the biomass, will convert the ammonia into nitrite and ultimately nitrate, a less harmful compound. A spike will occur when the filtration system is unable to break down the ammonia more quickly than it is being generated. There are many circumstances that can contribute towards the development of a spike. The ammonia will not be obvious. It will not smell or discolor the water. It is very important that regular water tests are carried out to ensure that it is spotted and dealt with before irreparable damage occurs. When a new pond is being established, the filtration system is immature and will have a low level of bacteria. It can take several weeks for a healthy biomass to develop. New ponds must be stocked gradually in order to reduce the likelihood of a spike. Care should also be taken when introducing new fish to an established pond. Excessive amounts of feeding is also a concern. Fish are cold-blooded and have minimal energy requirements. Fish in ornamental ponds are often fed far too much food and would suffer no ill effects if the amount was reduced. Most fish antiparasite and antibacterial treatments will have a negative effect on the biomass so they should not be used without good reason. Whilst treatments are unlikely if used at sensible levels to completely retard the filtration, they can knock back the biomass to a level where a spike develops. Under no circumstances should these treatments be used in a new pond or a pond that is already struggling with ammonia. A healthy biomass requires a constant flow of oxygen-rich water. If filter operation is interrupted, for any length of time, it can lead to a dieback of the biomass. Ammonia can spike very rapidly when filter operation is not maintained. Always maintain your pump and ensure that the filter is not obstructed with heavy soiling. Whenever practical, use pond water to wash the media and it goes without saying to avoid the use of cleaning chemicals. To help establish and refresh the biomass, use a regular dose of filter boosting treatment. A small regular application will be much more effective as opposed to a large occasional dose. Zeolite, a microporous mineral with chemical absorbing properties, was once a popular choice of filter media. It can be refreshed by soaking it for a day or so in a strong salt solution. Small regular water changes are always good practice and can help to dilute any ammonia. I change 10 to 20% weekly in the summer. Should a severe spike occur, substantial emergency water changes can be used. There is very little that can be done to help fish that have been through a spike other than providing additional oxygenation and prevention of further water quality issues. If ammonia becomes a recurring problem, it is a fairly safe bet that the pond is overstocked with fish and the filtration system is not large enough to support the sufficient biomass. It is very easy to underestimate the importance of a filter. Invest in a system that will not simply do the job, but completely and totally be on top of the job. Bigger is always better, at least when you're talking about filtration systems. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Post any questions in the comments below. It's bye for now from Lee at the Japanese Water Gardens.